You guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode. So we're gonna jump back on the road, go to Grants Pass. From Grants Pass, we're intersecting I-5 for and taking I-5 down to Medford. And we'll just be camping outside of Medford today because tomorrow, 9 a.m., I gotta get my windshield glass replaced. And we'll just be hanging around Medford tomorrow and then hopefully back on 199 down to Crescent City. That's the plan so far. One nice thing about camping by the creek is the fact that I could just jump in whenever because it's going to be hot as hell today. I decided to jump in just a second ago and to cool down a little bit, it's, I'm probably going to be sweating instantly once I hit Medford because it's an, in the hundreds right now. I believe last time I checked it was, which was yesterday. But yeah, it's going to be a good day. Let's get into it and continue on 199. Let's go. All right, you guys, so first objective today is a waterfall on the, or technically falls, not a waterfall, on the Rogue River. That's what we're, that's what we're hiking to right now, apparently. I'm, I'm not 100% on this one. I just discovered it on Google Maps, and as I was going along I-5, it's like, hey, why not check it out? Sounds kind of interesting. All right, you guys, so going down below us, this is the Rogue River and Telemachian Falls. So... Let's see, let's see, where's the falls? Where's the falls? Not up this way. Okay, so it's down this way. That's the falls. I wonder if we could get a closer look at it if there's another hiking trail going down to the falls themselves, although that's them right there. You could see that's quite a bit of rapids. It'd be kind of fun to just float down this, wouldn't it? Get a kayak. What is that building? I'm curious, but um, yeah, we're just keep hiking along. Right now we're outside of the town of Gold Hill, Oregon, and we're just going to, today, we're just, you know, it's a time-wasting day because I have to be in Medford tomorrow, so I say we hike around for a little while. All right, I found a second access point, and hopefully we'll be able to see the falls on this side. Just going along, you see, you could see a bike path right there. That's the Suzuki, and we actually got it kind of be quick because i believe they charge for parking and obviously i didn't pay for parking so all right all right i'd say an even nicer view than we had wow and this that's the falls on that side let's see i want to see if we could does this go anywhere hey yeah okay so this trail continues I'm curious how close can we get to the falls. Going along this way. Yeah. Now that is a proper view of the falls. Tillamuckin or whatever the hell it was called. I honestly don't remember at this point, although, yeah, man. Awesome. It's always fun to see new rivers. This one's. Oh shoot, this one's the Rogue. I've never seen the Rogue before just because I've never been to this part of Oregon. This part is new to me. Same with when we head to the coastline. I've never been to the coastline part of Oregon. I've been to central Oregon, the desert part of Oregon as well. I guess bordering Idaho, Nevada, if you remember that. But um, yeah, it's just not this part. So it's nice to have a look around, you know, a new environment. It looks a lot like NorCal. Obviously it is just because it's so close to NorCal itself, but yeah. Let's jump back on the road and keep on going. All right, y'all, here's the thing about my YouTube channel. I feel like it tends to be way too unorganized where I go from one clip to the next. 
And from that one clip, I don't really update on where I'm going to the next place. It's just completely unpredictable. So I want to try and keep you guys updated as much as possible. Well, one thing I like about daily making daily videos like this is I'm able to watch whatever I made the same day. I'm able to edit it and all that and see what I got to improve on, see what I got to change, whatnot like that. So next we're going, we're following the Rogue River up to Dillon Falls. That's what we just looked at, those falls on this side. Now we're going to continue onward about a mile or so to look at Dillon Falls. And then afterward, I found a free campsite on iOverland app. So if we camp at that spot, that means bright and early tomorrow, we could get on the road to safe light. They will replace the cracked windshield and we will be able to get back on Highway 1. I just want to go back to Highway 1 because it is blazing hot. All right, so this is Dillon Falls. You can see it runs all along. Hey buddy, I got a stick for you. You want it? There you go. Ooh, don't hit the oh. All right, you guys, I am now at Wagner Creek, just following along this road to get to my campground. I'm gonna show you this creek real quick and then we will continue onward. All right, so this is the creek, Wagner Creek. I'm telling you, the things you find out on these back roads are sometimes just plain bizarre. Who just dumps a boat on an off-road trail like this? Apparently, someone in the state of Oregon does. <laughs> Damn. All right, what do we got? Oh yeah. Hey. Yo, I've never actually been to a Chipotle before, so hey, gotta try it, right? Put a like, comment down below. I don't, I don't know. Is it good? Is it bad? It's Chipotle. Who knows? All right. All right. So continuing on the road, and I think we have a hiking trail. We got an awesome bridge going across, and. Yeah, it, it, this looks like just a whole day use area managed by the BOM. Got the creek down below and then going up this way is a picnic table. Apparently you can't have any campfires, although it, it, you got to be, oh, funny thing is they actually have one on the piece of wood itself. They're real serious about this. We even have a picnic table. And then going on this way, we have the awesome creek. Bridge, picnic table, and then hiking trail. Let's go hiking. I am very curious as to where this trail goes. It appears it separates, it makes a fork. One going, okay, so actually got a picnic table going down with a view of the creek. So that's not a trail itself. Then continuing upward. Got two ways to go. Do we go straight? Do we take a left? Go that way? Or do we check it out and go back?
You guys, you know something? This is the first hike we've done in the state of Oregon. Awesome, right? I haven't really filmed much of it, although it was just a giant loop that goes around and then comes back. Oh, crap. No. Oh, you guys, are you okay? Oh my gosh, no. Such a nice place where we're at right now. I do not want to leave. I'm going to head further up the mountain later to find my camp. I don't know if I said that yet. Uh, the thing about, I guess, daily vlogging, so to speak, and I'm telling, I'm, I do not know how people do it. Adam the Woo has been making daily vlogs for the past three years, four years, some huge amount of years every day of his life. It, it's crazy, man. I'm trying to make a video every single day. Production, so editing, thumbnail, title, in all takes about seven hours to do. And after all that, you gotta find a Wi-Fi source to upload that. So you stop it at eight, you finish editing that video and publishing it at 1 a.m. Then you gotta find a Wi-Fi source the next day to publish that video to upload it to YouTube. Crazy, and people do it. I don't see how. I, I try to, but I, maybe I'm just not as good of a video editor because it takes a crazy amount of production just to get a video out there. And it's one of those things where if you don't enjoy it, then don't do it. The only reason I make videos, so the only reason I make videos to begin with is just as a documentation of my travels. I view it a lot as if, imagine you were to have a journal and you were to write down every day the things you do and the things you see. That's exactly what this YouTube channel is. I have no objective with it. It's just something that I could look back at someday and be like, wow, I wanna see that day. I wanna see what I did on that day. Then I could go click that video. And so I could just make the, all these videos private. And I'd still be filming, you know, just because it's something I'm doing for fun. And that's awesome, man. But just having feedback with the places I go and having people comment and subscribe and all that, that, that just adds to it. That just makes me appreciate it because it feels like everybody else is coming with me. You know, everybody else who's watching is just joined in on this expedition and they're experiencing it the same as I'm experiencing it. And that is such an amazing thing. And, you know, I, I don't think I could travel forever. Eventually, I guess you just got to get a job, settle down, and just become an adult, you know? But it, I guess that's once I graduate college. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I would ever be able to have free time like this in the future where I could be like, hey, I'm going to go to frick, frickin' this state or that state. I'm going to go see this. I'm just going to jump into Suzuki and drive. That's not a luxury you have your whole life. So it's, it's great to, uh, like I even had a comment was like, hey, I don't get to travel, so I enjoy your videos because I get to see you travel and it feels like I'm with you. And that's awesome, man, because someday I feel like I'm gonna be at that same point where I'm watching someone who's traveling just because I can't do it myself. And I, I yeah, um, it, it's just something that I do so I could look back and something that I enjoy editing and making videos and all that great stuff. It is a ton of fun. And that's why I do it. That's why I do YouTube and that's why I upload videos. I just want to put that out there because I don't know how people view my channel. I've always viewed it in such a way that it's just a documentation, but I don't know how others have always viewed what I wanted to do. You know, what, what are my accomplishments? What are my goals in life? And <laughs> it, I guess it's just um, not YouTube, but <laughs> to, uh, you know, graduate and keep my GPA pretty high, you know, I'm one of the highest GPAs I know, and, you know, uh, just doing my thing. Um, but yeah, so that's that freaking. let's get back into it and continue onward. Also, the reason why I kind of talk fast is because I want to get out as much information as possible in a video because I think I hate most about a YouTube video is when it's all talk and no action. I click on a video and it's 20 minutes of talking for five minutes of some type of action, maybe hiking or showing whatever the video title had. And I hate those videos. I feel like I'm kind of being a hypocrite by talking a lot because I'm kind of adhering to those same type of YouTubers and I don't want to be one of them. So that's why I talk fast. I want to get out all the information as quick as possible so we could get to the action and everything that's awesome to see. Which I don't think I talk fast, but someone said I did, so that's that. <laughs> Damn. 
One thing I've noticed is the same questions I've been getting asked over and over again on my, I guess, Suzuki Life Journey cross country series. And one of those is my shower system. How do I take showers? And this is it. I use this every single night. I simply go by a gas station that has one of the filling faucets, fill it up. If that's not available, I'll go by a creek. You know, all these creeks are super clean. They're all snow melt. There's no development or anything. It's just this pure wilderness mountain. So, I mean, you could drink this if you wanted to. So, yeah, just put that up there and like so. It works. Been doing this since the beginning. It's worked out great. It just sucks though in the winter time because it'll be freezing cold out and you're just shivering. I was going up this road in search of a campground. Going up to this bend, that's when I seen this flat out spot. And I was like, you know what? That'll be a good spot. So haven't continued further up this way. I'm not quite sure where this road goes. Although this is it. That's the Suzuki. Got a pit right there and you know, a decent spot. I can't complain. It's just somewhere to spend the night for now. So I could get back on the road tomorrow, head to Medford, get the glass replaced, get it all fixed up, and then kaboom. Not staying here, just one night, and then we'll be off. And for that, it's not too bad of a place. Though somebody left a lot of trash. One thing I like to do is see what type of people were camping here before. Let's, let's see what their behavior was like. All right, let's see what we got. Some nine millimeters, okay. Got some shooters, and while they were shooting there, oh my, that is rough, man. Oh no. I can't even say what that is because I'll get demonetized, but that is, oh wow, straight up alcoholics with it, man. Imagine, <laughs> the, they didn't even enjoy this, you already know that, they just did it for the, for the sense of it, man. Sure left a lot of ammunition. And we got the mountains, the beautiful mountains. I like it. I like this spot. Not bad at all. 